Chris, thanks so much. A nine-year-old boy survived the night alone in the woods by covering himself with leaves and drinking water from a creek. And today we're learning more about the efforts that led to his rescue. Matthew Yarbrough was reported missing from the YMCA camp in Greenville County around 6 o'clock last night after wandering off. Search and rescue crews from North and South Carolina were involved in this search. We're told 130 people helped to find Matthew. 30 of them then continued their efforts overnight and finally found him this morning two miles away from camp. Fox Carolina's Margaret Burnquist live in our newsroom. So, Margaret, a lot of people are relieved Matthew is back home and only really had some minor scratches, right? Yeah, absolutely. And a little bit more about what was going on when the boy went missing. This is kind of interesting. We're told campers were in three person groups. They were monitored by counselors who were positioned around the camp when Matthew Yarborough wandered away from his group. Now, when it was discovered that he was missing during a 5 p.m. head count, the YMCA initiated its own emergency response plan with 60 staff members beginning search and rescue operations. Then at 545, they reached out to authorities and the response was a great one. We know that he covered up and used leaves and actually to stay warm overnight. This frightening story of a resourceful missing child has a happy ending thanks to what officials are calling a very successful and collaborative effort. You know, he was cut up from brush and things like that, but other than that, he was uh, just hungry, uh, wanted some breakfast. Sergeant J.D. Redmond, the commander of the Greenville County Sheriff's Office search and rescue team, says the effort to find nine-year-old Matthew Yarbrough started with a focus on the camp and the immediate area around it. Using helicopters and drones with flare capabilities, crews checked every building, trail, pond, and vehicle. There was no stone that was left unturned um, up until dusk. Then, back at it this morning at 7.30, they expanded the radius of the search until finally someone from the nearby Green River Preserve Camp on an ATV or golf cart spotted Matthew on a gravel road. They immediately recognized him when they saw him and uh, contacted 911. Sergeant Redmond says the boy, alone in the woods, was aware of the search happening around him. He uh, could hear the helicopter at times. He could hear a drone. He actually heard his voice being called out. Things that we were giving our responders, hey, turn off your ATV, stop where you are, shout out his name, and listen. He just said he didn't have the voice to respond. Now, of course, Matthew is safe and sound and reunited with his family. As for why he wandered away. He was just, he was out, he was enjoying camp. And as any uh, boy would like to do, sometimes you uh, like to go out. Just a simple reason there. Now, Sergeant Redmond says interviewing the boy is an important part of his process because it helps him learn more about the behavior patterns of lost hikers. He said Matthew told him all he could about where he walked and why. For example, he followed a stream because he thought it would lead back to the pond near camp. Now, that is something those in emergency management look for in planning a response for future events. Cody. So, Margaret, what was uh, going on with the other kids at the camp when the search was underway? Does the YMCA plan on implementing any new safety procedures since this kid did get, you know, two miles away? And we're told the other campers were accounted for and then moved into cabins or camp buildings where they could be engaged in other activities during the search. YMCA President Scott Badley made reference to some 300 safety steps and precautions in place already. He says they will reassess those existing policies and make sure they're properly followed. But he says the camp has never had an incident like this and they take, safely, take safety very seriously. Back to you. Hey, Margaret, so glad he's